What is up everybody? Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock to bring you through 10 quick bits of new information for Animal Crossing on the Nintendo 3DS. Fishing tournaments have a special ending ceremony inside of Chip's tent where the participants are actually rewarded with their trophies. And I think you'll agree, this looks pretty darn cute. And little details like this make the tournaments much more fun. I mean look, there's confetti, happiness, clapping. What more could you want out of a fishing tournament? One of the new ideas that keeps popping up in screenshots and videos are the photo op displays. In Japan, there's even an event known as Bean Day. And as far as I can tell, it involves beans and ogres. As you can see here on Bean Day, you'll be able to snag yourself a special photo as two ogres dancing around beans. Oh, and you can also throw beans at each other on this day. Because it's Japan. Birthdays have been in Animal Crossing before, of course, but now you'll be able to celebrate them in a much more fun manner. You can actually go to parties held at animals' homes, and they'll even throw you a very special surprise party of your own. Which is not a surprise anymore because I just told you about it. Your trusty shovel is about to get much more use because you can now use it to unearth crystals under the ground. Uh, do you sell them? Donate them? Just collect them all? We don't know. but. Come on, there's freaking crystals to dig up in the game now. That is pretty awesome. Fossil fans who have wanted to display their hobby at home, but found that it takes up too much space, will be happy to know that you can now collect mini fossil statues in the game. You can fit a Stegosaurus, T-Rex, Pterodactyl, and Triceratop all on the same table. Okay, so we all know about the ability to swim around and dive under the ocean waters. But to quickly recap, a few things you may find on the ocean floor would include starfish, oysters, and many other crustaceans. You'll need to watch out though for floating jellyfish because just like bees, they will probably follow you around and sting ya. Crazy Red has his own stand set up for the fireworks festival. It doesn't seem like he has anything on display, but if it's anything like the GameCube title, he may be selling pinwheels, fans, or balloons. And of course, he might even be selling you fireworks, like party poppers and sparklers. It's also worth assuming that Crazy Red will pop up or pop into your town on many other occasions. The shops located at the outdoor mall may not always expand in size, but they can expand their selection of items on display. In this example, we can clearly see the flower shop offering up a whole nother counter of items. This may be related to how much you spend at their shops. If you know me personally, you will know that I think sharks are pretty much the coolest things ever. They exist to eat and swim, which frankly is what I wish I was doing with my life. The point I'm trying to make here is that you can now catch a whale shark in the game, and that is pretty great. In fact, I kind of wonder what would happen if you're swimming around in the ocean and there's a shark nearby. One of the new items you can purchase at Tom Nook's shop is a daily fortune cookie. When you crack it open, you can read a small fortune that will sometimes affect how you go about your daily routine. You might find more rare items, animals might take a liking to you, and you may even have some bad luck and constantly trip on your face when you run around. All right, guys and gals, there you have it. 10 quick bits of new information about Animal Crossing on the 3DS. As always, be sure to subscribe to the BitBlock here on YouTube if you haven't already, because in under a month, we're going to be covering the launch of the game in Japan, so it's going to be pretty exciting.